Hello, today we are going to look at flow station or gathering station as it is called in today's lecture. Last time we discussed um, Christmas trees, workers, and what they do, how we use them to produce oil and gas. Now, from the workers, we have something called flow lines which connects what is produced from Christmas tree to the gathering station. This takes place via something we call inlet manifold because uh, many Christmas trees are connected to one gathering station. We have inlet manifolds that allows us to switch from one well to the other and to connect the wells according to their pressure regime. We cannot connect a high pressure well together with a low pressure well at, and commingle them. So we have to have inlet manifold. From the inlet manifold, which takes us the fluid into the gathering station, we need to have a means of separating oil from gas and then oil from water. For a three-phase separator, we have to separate gas, oil, and water and impurities that comes into the flow station. There are requirements because uh, the oil we produce, crude oil we produce, that we send to refineries or to the gathering uh, tanks, which we call tank farms, where we store them for export, must meet some specification, especially read vapor pressure, RVP. It has to meet other specification in terms of um, the water in the oil, the gas produced in the past is usually fled. That is burnt up, but it's no longer possible to flare associated gas. So we have to build another uh, gas treatment plant where the gas is sent and is processed and made ready to meet the requirements for LNG or for pipelines that goes to LNG. The water itself has to be treated to specified quality before being re-injected into the wells or sent to the sea, depending on the requirements and the proximity of the flow station to the sea. Well, the equipment, the equipment that you need to do all this are what is covered in this lecture note. We we'll go into inlet manifold, then we we'll go into the processing of oil, separators, test separators, production separators, high pressure separators, medium pressure separators, low pressure separators. For the gas, we we'll go into gas treatment uh, equipment, and for the water, we go also to water treatment equipment. In all this, the instrument and control engineer is required at the beginning of the project to do preliminary design with the process engineer, with the mechanical engineer, with the electrical engineer for all the requirements. For the instrument engineer, he is given a preliminary P and ID diagram process and instrument diagram with no control on it. So he is the one to do all the control system and to buy, specify the instrument that is required. And so to control a process, you must understand the process. You cannot control something you do not understand. And that's the reason for this lecture. At the end of this lecture, you should be able to know the type of instrument that is required 
for level control, for pressure control, temperature control, for flow control, and what is required to keep the level in the separators at the required level. In addition to controlling the systems in a flow station, an instrument and control engineer requires also to provide safety. Pressure in a vessel should not be such that the vessel will explode. So in addition to controlling the pressure, you must also have a safety system that will prevent the uh, vessel from exploding. Even if the electrical electronic system fails completely, you must provide relief valve, which is a mechanical system, to make sure the vessel does not explode. So the lecture materials are included in the Google Classroom. You are supposed to go through them. Some section of the lecture materials have been removed so that you will be able to fill them up. You go to the web, search for the topic, and complete the lecture materials. And I deliberately removed some parts so that you will be involved. It's not going to be a passive system. It's an active classroom where you need to do your own bits. So going through my lecture notes, which I have here, I want to make sure that every member of the class knows that information and consideration for instrument design aspect of crude oil processing for typical onshore facilities. In Nigeria, we call them flow stations. In some other countries, it's called gathering stations. This is important because you can only control a plant that you understand the process. In addition, the lecture materials provides an overview of separation of crude oil from well fluids for further processing, which every oil and gas instrument engineer should be familiar with. This model covers the overall summary of processing schemes, typical crude specification, and data to help instrument engineer in developing a preliminary design phase. As an instrument and control engineer in an oil and gas industry, you may not be required to build an instrument from scratch, but you must understand the process such that you can specify how the control system will be implemented, what is the requirement, and what type of instrument is needed. Is it going to be a control valve? Is it going to be a transmitter? Which type of transmitter? Is it going to be the flow control you are doing? Or is it going to be temperature control? Is it going to be level control? So these things are necessary. It's not a digression. It's an in integral part of your training that you, as an instrument and control engineer, you will be able and capable of specifying. Once they give you a P&ID diagram, you should start from there and specify what the contractor should do, what instrument should be provided, what the control loop should look like, which final control system should be used. Is this a distributed control system, DDC, or is it uh, using simple uh, just control loops? Is it going to be analog, digital? These are all the requirements. But for now, we concentrate on what is there in the flow station. We have done with Christmas tree, which we know already. We have done a test on it, and many of you did well. So now we need to concentrate on the gathering station. At the end of the lecture, today and tomorrow, by the time today's lecture, you read through the notes, which will be shown on the on the on the class in the classroom. After going through the lecture notes today, tomorrow the class will gather to go through the web. Together, everybody in the class should be there. Side through the web to put in the missing words. All those ones in red are missing. You are supposed to add to it. Then the lecture is completed. Next week, we go through the revision and have a test on the gathering station, which 
I believe you will do well as well. Thank you for your time and God bless you. I wish you good luck and be a good instrument engineer and a good instrument ambassador. Thank you and God bless you.